Hello, Gemini. It's Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. And here on this channel, we're here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. Well, Gemini, here we are for your June 2019 reading. Um, this is a general reading. This is going to be for sun, moon, and or rising. So if this does not fit your sun, if it does not resonate with your sun, do not try to put it on. Don't try to keep putting that, uh, shoe on, honey. Then go check your moon and or your rising sign, um, as soon as I get them up. Now, one last thing that I want to say, if you're watching this in the month of May, and you are a subscriber please consider commenting and liking please consider subscribing to the channel um and if you do so during the month of may we will be entering you into the drawing for the 100 dollars amazon gift card if you're watching this in the month of june i'll be announcing the new gift the new giveaway for june so please comment anyway my existing subscribers thank you very much as always I really appreciate your support. Let me not just throw all the cards around. So I pulled the initial cards. We're gonna we'll be using the Star Child Tarot. Um, the energy coming towards you is the Ten of Swords. So this says to me, the cycle Gemini. Happy birthday, by the way, and the cycle of hurt, pain, destructiveness, lies, deceit is coming to a close during the month of june uh, which is very good for you you need that right so now we're coming into a time potentially of reconciliation right and renewal um if you've been the one not being fully honest with someone else or a lot of someone else's uh the gig is up this month everything's going to be made known if someone has been really you know that they've been kind of out to get you after you with this deceit if uh you know you've been repeatedly hurt by a person it's over this month we're coming out of that um we have the eight of cups in clarification so i do see you leaving behind this feeling along with the seven of pentacles what i see you leaving behind is this feeling of for some reason gemini you felt like you had to stick this out like you had to you knew that that this wasn't right you knew this was toxic you knew this was a bad situation and yet you felt like you needed to stick it out you felt like you needed to give somebody maybe one more chance which is a little unusual for you. I think you really must have cared about this person or cared about this situation. Perhaps it's a job where you're like, I don't really feel like I can leave, but I know this is not good for me. And you were waiting for there to be with the seven of pentacles, you know, some sort of sign that this is, uh, that this could be good. You're going to get a little bit of, yeah, it could be good, but actually what you're going to really have to notice about that fruit, it's all fruit from a poison tree. So I do see you being finally able to walk away with what little bit that you got out of it. You know, what little good that you could pull from it and then keep it moving. That chapter is closing. Let it close. Start new. You know, after the 10 comes the page. The page of swords then brings this renewed thought, renewed focus, renewed speech, renewed ways of handling situations. New ways, not renewed, new ways. So allow this closure to happen now you're bringing to the table the star card right so that's very aquarian energy full of hope um also with the aquarian energy i noticed it was a lot like uh, all air signs really this uh, concept of fairness so you're really coming forward this month with this feeling of you're finally going to be able to get your just due right things are finally looking in your favor and along with the Queen of Wands, I do see that there's a fiery start um, that you're passionate. You're passionate about starting new. You're passionate about moving forward. You're passionate about putting the past behind you. Um, and you're going to get with the Three of Pentacles some assistance, perhaps from an uh, Earth sign. Not much Earth here. But you're going to get some assistance. A new partner, perhaps. 
Yeah, and you're gonna come in from with the Five of Pentacles, come in from feeling like you've been left out in the cold finally. Um, I do see it's a passionate start, it's a passionate new person, uh, and it's a good, healthy partnership. What you have to watch out for this, this month though, your birthday month, is the Two of Swords. This is a powerful month for all the signs, but it is especially, uh, I feel, uh, it is especially uh, important for you this year, this, this Gemini season of 2019. There's a lot of decisions that have to be made. Yourself, you're going to have to decide, are you going to remain in all of the issues and the crap that have plagued you for years and years, perhaps lifetimes? Are you going to remain in that? Are you going to ride the ascension wave and come to a decision? that finally you're going to walk in the power and in the might and uh, in the manifestative, uh, consistently manifestative being, manifestation cycle. In other words, are you gonna now elevate yourself with your quick mind and even quicker wit, with your quick wisdom and ability to assess the situation immediately and 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 see it and listen to your spirit instead of listening always to your ego listen to your spirit and then move forward so it is this crossroads that you are at with the two of swords that you must watch out for you must also watch out with the justice card to be sure that you are not creating an imbalance in your life by always seeking justice and balance in others. This star card says, I want the just, right, as well as everything else. I have hope that everything is going to turn out correctly and as it should, right? With the proper balance of spirit and of third dimension logic. However, with the justice card, that Libra energy, um, to clarify the two of swords, there's crossroads, there's decisions you'll be making all month long. Be very careful that you don't uh, misinterpret what the balance of power truly should be. That you do not misinterpret how to balance the scales, Gemini. Um, there is a time for ego and for selfishness, but also, just be careful that you're not creating a karma that you do not want to pay that price for. And I don't know who that is for, but just be careful. With the Ace of Wands, you're going to be, I can see, right? You're going to be quick starts, new starts. Be, though, cognizant completely of these new starts, and are they truly in your best interest? Again, be careful that the scales are always balanced. You get out what you put in. Do not think that you can trick someone or, or, or circumvent the process. You can't circumvent the process, dear heart. Your manifestation game is on point this month. What you think becomes reality. So be careful of what you're thinking of. And be careful that you do not lose faith with the higher font. Again, there is some more earth energy here. So there could potentially be a Taurus involved. It could also potentially be a Capricorn or a Virgo. What is going to help you through this month? What is going to help you overcome and be able to assess your situations and your choices and your crossroads accurately? Are tapping into your Akashic Records. Tap into, yeah, tap into the past so you can move forward. With the eight of wands, that is general movement. Usually that's shown with a, um, with the wands that are being shot out as arrows. And I always say that uh, the eight of wands is forward movement yet it's not completely dedicated to one particular area you've got the general gist of where you're supposed to be going 
the general idea of where you're supposed to be going. And yet, and yet, with a strong wind, it could go one way or the other. So be quite careful of that. So you see forward movement. The reason why, when that Akashic record uh, uh, a card comes up, that says to me, pay very close attention to what was. Quite close attention to what was. Quite close attention to what is in your in your past life history. Tap into and be completely spirit led into what the past says about your future so that you do not make the same mistakes and take the information and the knowledge from the past. This is a very important month for ancestral understanding and ancestral karma to understand where it was, what happened, where what 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 potentially our ancestors brought forward to us that we need to clear. But also be very clear about where you've come from so that you have a greater understanding about what you're supposed to learn and do in this life. Uh, it will bring you into a time of celebration with the Three of Cups. If you are willing, you have fun with it. Don't get too bogged down in needing to um, evaluate every aspect of it, yet also pay attention to the signs. The overall overreaching lessons. The macro lessons, not the micro ones. And with the Knight of Swords, um, I see in here clear communication between spirit and yourself, between your higher self and the Supreme Creator. Perhaps between your higher self and other spiritual, uh, and folks that are spiritual uh, mentors, uh, coaches, um, uh, healers, that type of thing. I see you doing a lot of good meditation, um, helping you through this month as well. Deep meditation and really listening to the voices or listening to the messages. Also, um, Gemini, this is a good month for you to work with someone that can help you access those Akashic records. This is a good month for you to work with someone that can help you cut cords. A good month for someone that can help you clear ancestral karma. A good month for you to have someone that can help uh, be in contact with your ancestors if you've not done that yet before. Um, you know, create an altar for them. Have a ceremonial, make up your own ceremony. It's fine, you can connect with your ancestors any way you wish. But do connect with them. And with the intention, go into your meditative state with the intention of, I wish to hear from you. I wish to be in contact with my ancestors. I wish to hear from you. Okay? And then create perhaps altars to them, you know, put out libations, things of that nature their favorite, you know, as your led followers, whatnot. But the key to your future is in your past. And a lot of times Geminis don't want to hear that. But please, believe me, it is very important that you do not repeat the same mistakes of the past. Because that's how you got into this trouble with this Ten of Wands. A constant cycle of untruths, or not full truths, and then there's hurt, pain, disappointment, and then here I'll go all over again. Um, outcome or advice is the moon. Piscean energy. Uh, your way is not, your pathway is not going to be well lit. This isn't the sun. This is, again, on the heels of that Akashic Record card, this is definitely, most definitely, tapping into ancient wisdom. Ah, and starting... Let, we'll let the chapter here. We have the world card. We started with letting a chapter in. Let this chapter of being guided more so by your ego than by your spirit. More so guided by logic and what you can see with your two eyes rather than your third eye. Let that chapter close. L pay attention to your intuition. It's there for a reason. And your intuition is nothing more than your higher self communicating with your third dimensional self. Um, with the devil, I card, uh, there could potentially, there's another 
it could be a Capricorn in the mix. Um, I'm hearing though that the this 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 cycle that's closing is the toxic cycle. It's been a toxic cycle and it's closing. You're finally able to overcome these things. And here we go with renewed um, hope, joy, peace with the Ace of Cups. Your cup is going to begin to run over in that area. I would like to also um, pull for you um, from the Isis Oracle. Let's uh, one card, please, for Gemini with the Isis Oracle. One card of advice for the Isis Oracle. Yeah, your your future is so. Uh, the key to your future is in your past, and and the key to uh, opening up all of your. Um, mm, the key to unlocking the next level for your uh, in your awakening process is truly from your past. Um, and here we have the miracle of Isis, miraculous healing of the goddess. Miracle of Isis, miraculous healing of the goddess. And let me please read from you from the from the book, and uh, we will then close out from there. Miracle of Isis. Isis was known as a talented practitioner of the healing arts and was capable of miraculous healings. For you, beloved, she offers a miracle healing. No matter how much you've struggled with a particular matter, no matter how impossible it may seem to imagine your life without this old wound, Akashic records, addiction, problem, relationship issue, or inner struggle being a part of it, you are guided now to accept the possibility of miraculous healing and let go and let the goddess be your divine feminine whether you're male or female the lady Isis wishes to lift a load that has become too heavy for you to heal on your own beloved she cannot take something away from you if you are not willing to release it to her however release for healing means trust letting go of attachment to outcome and how that outcome might be achieved and opening the divine genius of healing that seeks to exp express the perfection of divine love through you now. To hand something over for healing, especially when it has been a long-term or persistent difficulty or simply seems to be too great or overwhelming to be healed, takes a radical change of mind and heart. Dare to hope without becoming attached to how or when something can happen to surrender without forgetting, to follow your intuition and act accordingly, to trust even though you may have been disappointed or hurt in the past. All these things take skill and courage. Yet these are the requirements to receive healing through divine love. This is a healing month for you so that you can propel yourself and be placed in the position in which you are supposed to be placed in the hierarchy of the collective as we begin to help those that are becoming awakened after us um, going through their ascension process uh, as we begin to to create a foundation upon which they can come and climb up whether it be being an entrepreneur or being a teacher and healer like myself whatever it is or a leader within corporate America, whatever it is, there is a need to have us that are high, vibrating on a higher frequency um, in order to achieve uh, the growth as a planet that it is time for us to do. And you have to receive your healing. Go to your past to then propel yourself into your future. That's what I'm seeing. Trust your intuition. Trust your spirit to lead you and guide you through this month. It's a powerful month for you. A powerful month for you. And I cannot wait to see where this is going to lead for you for July. Gemini, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for hanging with me through this reading. Once again, uh, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting so you can get introduced to the drawing, the subscriber giveaway drawing. Also, if you wish to work with me, please go to heartofinspiration.net. 
you'll be able to either get a personal reading, um, an energy healing session, an aura reading session, or other ways that you are able to then work with me. Um, also, you'll see at the end of this, there are some various channels that I do work with. Um, Shonda Rise for astrology, um, Blue Brown's Cartomancy. Um, he's an excellent, excellent reader and uh, a few others. So we're going to put a couple of those up for you to then subscribe to. Thank you so very much for being with me. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you. Namaste. Bye-bye.